too many mistakes <laughs> for me not to make. But I, I, I'm going to tell you about my education. I, I think it was about the sixth grade when I learned about who I was and where I came from. Being in rural Central Valley, uh, San Joaquin Valley, near Madera, Fresno, California, there was only one other black student in the classroom with me, and maybe two or three other Mexican Americans who did farm labor work as well. And everyone else went for Caucasian, and we always sit in the back. I did not feel like a part of the situation. This was like in the 50s, okay? I felt alienated. And black parents in those days, they did not explain to the child, hey, you know, your ancestors are from Africa, and we were ex-slaves, and la, la, la. They never told us anything. So I'm trying to figure out, well, oh, why am I here? I look different from everybody. I was confused. I did not know. My parents did not tell me. But in the sixth grade, we were reading in the book, one day, slaves from uh, West Africa, they were black. They just, it was like a light came on my brain. That's me! That's who I am. I'm from Africa. And the next second, I said, I'm going back. <laughs> and it and took me one second to realize that where my ancestors came from, and the next second, I said, I've got to go back there. And over the years, I felt that the, the, the spirit of my ancestor was pulling me back and calling me back. <coughs> I'm a bit spiritual in that sense, and I believe that to this day. And I always tell people, I'm going to go back to Africa for the African who was taken away over 200 years ago so his spirit can rest in peace.